and welcome to the holiday Easter edition of Move of the Month. Today we're going to do our cradle spin. Okay, for you beginners out there, because I've been neglecting you also, um, we're going to have this spin for you. Um, some may refer to it as a crouch spin, but that seems a little vile to me in certain ways. The term just doesn't sit right with me. Makes me think of things, you know. Mm. Okay. Anyhow, I just prefer cradle. I've decided on cradle, and that's what I'm sticking with. You guys can refer to it as either or. It's fine. Okay, now with the cradle, we're going to have a grip as follows. We're going to have a baseball grip on top, okay? About ear height, head height or so. Flip twisty grip down here, okay? Like so. And what we're doing is, we're going to walk around the pole for momentum, then we're going to come up into this position, bringing our knees and our tummy into the pole, okay? Tummy from one side, knees in, and uh, your upper thighs on the outside of your thighs will be in, pulling them in towards your chest, okay? This is your position, and it's harder to hold it static than it is to do the spin, but... Um, you know, it, you're going to be walking around, and then you're going to have to get into that. So it's best to start out just practicing the hand grips and the way you want your legs to go up, okay? So have your flip twisted grip down here, regular baseball grip up here. Then pull up, but you don't have to hold it, okay? Just so you know what you're doing. You're bringing your body up into the pole between the two hands. And using your momentum, you're going to spin around the pole. Follow it around until you reach the floor, okay? All right, so I'm just going to do it for you, and then let's see how it goes. Walking, getting the momentum. As you see, I am not yet using my hand position for the cradle yet. When I'm ready, and I feel like I have enough walk, which I do, I'm going to bring my hand up here, down here, body in, and down to the floor. As you see, my arms are still in that position. I'm just going to take this twisted grip off before I strain my wrist and just roll on up. And that's your cradle spin, okay? You don't want to put a lot of pressure on this wrist, so as you come down, make sure you're flowing gently down and then let go of that, that wrist grip here because you will hurt yourself. If you come down fast and you don't get that twisted grip off there, it will wrench it a bit. So just be careful with that. Actually, you know what? Because it's a little tricky to get into it from the walk, why don't you just try it static first? A little bit different, but what you're going to want to do is bring your outside leg from in back of you to in front. So you're getting a tiny bit of momentum. And up and around. You won't get as far, but it's just a good way to learn your arm positionings, your hand positionings, and your body position in the air. All right? So, once you do a couple of those, and you feel ready, and you're very comfortable with your grip, then use your momentum walking around the pole, and try it from there. I'm going to do both in slow motion now, and you should be able to get this on your own. Everything takes time and patience, even beginner stuff. We all started out with our bumps and bruises, so don't dismay and don't feel bad on yourself, put yourself down, because you can get anything you want. All right, here we go in slow motion.
All right, I did quite a few there, just so that you can watch them. You don't have to rewind over and over. You're seeing plenty of them from different angles, and hopefully you get the gist of it. Remember the hand positions. Regular baseball grip on top. About head height, maybe a little above. You flipped. Baseball grip down here. Legs up and in to your chest. The knees are going to come up into the chest area. The thighs are against the pole. Your belly is against the pole. Okay? You want to be tucked as much as possible. Point your toes when you don't have clock hoppers on. All right? And just try to make it look as nice and graceful as possible. And you'll just come around like this. And when you get down here, remove the lower hand, bring it up here, you go down, but whatever is comfortable for you, just get it out of that twisted grip, and just roll your body up, and there you have a new spin, the cradle spin. So try it at first, just using the momentum from the outside leg to get up and around, and then you only can go around once sometimes, that's fine, everything is an accomplishment. Maybe you'll get around twice. Don't worry about that so much. Worry about just getting the positioning right, bringing that leg around, spinning into it, and then the walk afterwards. All right? So good luck. Happy Easter, everybody. And there's your move of the month, the cradle spin.